Hello, my name is Kevin Plancher, an orthopedic surgeon in New York City, and I'm a clinical professor in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Montefiore Medical Center and Albert Einstein College of Medicine, and an adjunct clinical assistant professor at Weill Cornell Medical College. I am the senior author and principal investigator for our work published in the June issue of JBJS titled Isolated Lateral Joint Osteoarthritis, Survivorship and Patient Acceptable Symptom State After Lateral Fixed Bearing Unicompartmental Knee Arthroplasty at a Mean 10-Year Follow-Up. Single compartment knee osteoarthritis is a challenging disease entity that plagues many younger adults that desire to continue participating in sports activities and want to avoid a total knee replacement. In fact, in a 2021 systematic review and meta-analysis by Stoddard, they found three-fourths of people with knee osteoarthritis do not have tricompartmental disease and 50% have single compartment osteoarthritis. Of these, 10% have isolated lateral tibiofemoral compartment osteoarthritis. Unicompartment knee arthroplasty, or UKA, is an alternative treatment option to total knee replacement in the appropriate selected patient. Studies have shown excellent survivorship of 96 to 98% at 5 and 10 years in patients with medial compartment disease undergoing medial UKA. Given the small population of patients with isolated lateral compartment osteoarthritis, there's limited long-term follow-up for lateral UK. This led us to evaluate the long-term follow-up of non-robotically assisted fixed-bearing lateral UK. We determined the proportion of patients who achieved an acceptable level of function, also known as patient acceptable symptom state or PASS, as a measure of success. We found that there was a bimodal age distribution in our cohort of 61 lateral UKs and therefore evaluated our outcomes in patients 60 years and older and those younger than 60 years of age. We had excellent survivorship at 10 years. Survivorship was 100% at 10 years in patients under 60 and 96% in patients older than 60. We were surprised to find that our past values exceeded those reported in cartilage repair and TKA literature. Pass was achieved in 82% of patients with COOS activities of daily living and 88% of patients for COOS sport in the younger group and in 80% of patients in the older group for both COOS, ADL and sport. Patients in the younger middle age group in our study had an average Lyshom score of 90 compared to 70 to 82 in patients following cartilage procedures. These results support the use, we believe, of lateral UK for optimally selected patients to return younger and older adults to ADLs and sporting activities. Lateral UK provides excellent survivorship with high rates of return to function in sports and high patient satisfaction and should be considered as the treatment of choice in patients with single lateral compartment knee osteoarthritis. Thank you very much.